Hi, this is Phyllis. Welcome back to my channel. Today's project is going to be my raw diamond earrings. Raw because we I make these using the right angle weave beading technique. If you like what you see, stay tuned for my materials list and we will get started. The materials for today's project are four millimeter beads. They can be any bead that is round that is four millimeter. So today I'm using these four millimeter Tiger Eye semi-precious beads that I got from Michaels. Along with that, I'm using my Gold Line Frost Crystal Toho 11-0 seed beads. And it's very important to use the Toho brand because they're a little taller. And um, that's what you need in order for you not to see so much thread um, in this project because it is right angle weave. I'm using Dragon Thread. And I'm using the green color because it is going to disappear right into those beads, those um, Tiger Eye and those... Uh, frost, frosted crystal seed beads. I'm using uh, two Wire Guardians. Um, I'm using the antique gold color in the Wire Guardian, and, and I'm also using a the 24 karat gold um, ear wire. But the ear wire is not antique gold, but it's not going to make a difference because when you put the earrings together with the diff the two colors, the two colors, the seed beads and um, the tiger eye, it's, gonna, it's just going to disappear right in there. Oh, and by the way, you need about a yard and a half of the dragon thread. I'm using a size 10 beading needle. I'm using my Fireline scissors. I'm using my flat nose pliers. You can use a um, chain nose plier just for opening the uh, ear wire, but this is the one that I had close to me today, so I'm going to use this uh, flat nose plier. And of course my bead board. And if you liked the project that you saw in the intro, gather your materials and we will get started. So I cut a, a two yard piece of thread. I know I said a yard and a half, but I cut two yards of my thread and I took the liberty of stringing on one of my four millimeters and five of my size 11 seed beads. And what we're gonna do is bring these all the way down to the end of the thread, leaving about an inch or two or so, just enough to tie a knot. And I'm just going to take it and go around once. And this time I'm going to, when I make my loop, I'm going to go through loop twice. I'm just knot it really nicely, making sure not to catch any of your thread into the uh, these seed beads here around the side. You want your not to be right here at the hole of the four millimeter round and at the seed beads. So to continue, and I'm gonna cut that tail off momentarily. To continue now, slide your needle back into the four millimeter and reinforce these seed beads again. I, I'm sorry I'm turning it so much, but I'm I can't have I want to get to the where I'm going uh, more comfortably. And sorry also about this blurriness. Okay, so I'm gonna pass my needle into the first seed bead. Then we're gonna go into the next three this kind of builds like a formation. And then I'm gonna turn my, my bead, my work this way again. I'm gonna pass my needle into 
this last seed bead here, pull the thread, and one more, and I'm gonna go into my four millimeter yet again. And um, this four millimeter is gonna be on an end. So I strongly advise that you reinforce it again because this is going to be on the end and I'm getting tangled on my bead board but that's okay all right this is the last time so I I made the one first initial loop and then I reinforced it twice and I'm going to go back into the four millimeter and string on five of my seed beads. And pass my needle again into this four millimeter. This time you only have to reinforce your work once. So I'm going to pass my needle at this this way into that one seed bead. And I'm going to go right down the side here through the three. And the last seed bead here. Oh, I didn't get all three. Nope. Yes, I did. Last seed bead here. And back into the four millimeter. Pull your thread. And I think I can get rid of the blurriness by moving these things out of the way. I think if only my hand is in the viewfinder, that will help with some of the blurriness. And while I have that, I'm going to just take my fire line scissors and just nip that, nip that right off. Okay. To continue, my thread is exiting. There you go. That blurriness has been alleviated. I'm exiting my four millimeter here and I'm going to pass my needle into one of the seed beads and then three down the side here, All right? I'm going to add now my next four millimeter and how I'm doing that is I'm going to string on one of my seed beads, one four millimeter and one seed bead and I'm going to pass my needle back into these three seed beads here and I'm going to reinforce into the one and I'm getting tangled on my bead board <coughs> excuse me so into that one seed bead into the four millimeter into this seed bead here back up into the three seed beads just like that into this one not one seed bead there and up into 
this four millimeter and once I get there this is what you should have there should be a little more definition here with my seed bead in my four millimeter that's better and then what I'm going to do is string on five seed beads and pass my needle back into four millimeter I'm going to turn my work this way so that I'm working away from me I'm going to pass my needle into the one seed bead into the three seed beads into the one seed bead and I'm holding my finger on there so they don't lose formation back up into the four millimeter here again into one seed bead here and then into the three seed beads and from here I'm just going to um, I'm going to turn off the camera and let you do it if you have to rewind back to the spot where you see what I'm doing, you, you string on a seed bead, a four millimeter, today, this one doesn't look too good, this one is a little ill, I'm not going to use this one, I hadn't called these beads so I'm going to get another one off my string and this one is better so one seed bead one four millimeter round one seed bead and I'm gonna pass my needle back into the three and you're gonna to continue to you're gonna do that until you have four 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 millimeter rounds on this row and we will get together once that is done so if you have to rewind to see how I did it you can do that and be right back I completed doing my four units and I reinforced this end unit twice like I did in the beginning and I need to now get into position to add my next unit I'm going to pass my needle up into the four millimeter and pull my thread and get tangled on my scissors of course and my bead board I'm going to pass my needle into this single seed bead here. Into these three seed beads here. And over into this seed bead this single seed bead right here and pull my thread and once here now I can add my beads I'm going to string on four seed beads and a four millimeter and I'm going to pass my needle back into I'm gonna flip it this way so that I can work away from me I'm gonna pass my needle back into that single seed bead where I started so that we can make this connection here and once here I'm just gonna flip it this way again I'm going to reinforce this unit and I'm going to reinforce this unit twice and when I'm done reinforcing this unit I'll turn the camera back on I reinforced twice now I have to get into position to um, add the seed beads to this side of the four millimeters so I'm going to pass my needle into these three 
seed beads. And into the one seed bead. Up into this four millimeter. And into this single seed bead that's sitting right there. Pull my thread. And once I get my thread needle there, I'm going to string on four seed beads. And I'm going to pass my needle up into the four millimeter. And I'm going to reinforce this by going back into the single seed bead. The three here. This single. And back up into the four millimeter one more time I'm so sorry about all of this turning and then into the single again and I'm going to turn it this way and I'm going to pass my needle into these three seed beads here something that we've been doing the whole time right okay once here now I'm going to string on a four millimeter I'm sorry string on a sing a seed bead and a four millimeter and I'm going to pass my needle into I got to show you where I'm going to pass my needle into this seed bead here. This is, I'm so sorry. I'm just doing this to myself. I was, I was about to tell you to pass the seed, the needle into the wrong seed bead. We're going right into this seed bead right here this single seed bead right there and we're going to pull this so that you can see where we are this is this side of the unit now I'm just going to reinforce by passing my needle into these three seed beads here right in the middle and into this single seed bead right here And then up into the four millimeter and into this seed bead right here that single one right there and on this side we're going to add four seed beads one two three four and we're going to pass our needle into the four millimeter and going to reinforce that unit by going into the single seed bead into these three these three seed beads here okay one two three this single up into the four millimeter again back over into this single and down into these three again and once here I'm going to string on a 
seabed. And a four millimeter. If I can get it. And I'm gonna pass my needle into this seed bead here. This one, this one. And this is the same as we were doing on the um, the other additions. Pass my needle down into those three, or up into those three, into this single seed bead here. Back into the four millimeter. And I'm so sorry. And then I'm going to Pass my needle into this single seed bead here. And on that side, I'm going to add four seed beads. And I'm going to pass my needle back up into the four millimeter. And I'm going to reinforce this unit twice because it's on the end. Now, in order to add the rest of the units, I'm going to um, reinforce and I'm going to pop back on and I'm going to show you how I'm going to do that. I have completed reinforcing my end and I'm to get into position to add the next row. I'm going to pass my needle up into the four millimeter, into the single here. down into the three seed beads and into the single here that single seed bead and what am I going to do I'm going to string on okay I'm going to string on four seed beads and a four millimeter. I'm gonna pass my needle back into this single seed bead right here. And I'm going to reinforce this twice. And I think you may have the gist of this, how we're doing it. I'm gonna reinforce this twice and pop back on when I'm done with that. I completed my reinforcement and I came around these four beads here again and I'm passing my needle up into the four millimeter and into this single seed bead right here and I'm going to string on four of my seed beads and I'm going to come pass my needle back into the four millimeter here and I'm going to reinforce this unit just by going into the single seed bead here, the three in the center or around the side, into the single seed bead here, up into the four millimeter again and the single and down the three and this is where now we are in position to add our next four millimeter we will do, we'll do that by stringing on one seed bead and one four millimeter and we're going to pass our needle into this that single C bead right there and we're just going to reinforce that unit by, by passing our needle down into the three over here into the single
up into the four millimeter and advance into this single seed bead over here on this side and I'm going to string on four of our seed beads. Finally, I got the four, and I'm gonna pass my needle back into the four millimeter. It's simple as that. Reinforce this unit twice. And I'm just gonna flip it over so that I can work with it this way. I, I don't want to do too much more of that turning around and turning around. So that's one reinforcement. Back into that single to complete that reinforcement. And here we go one more time. Down into two to three. Over here on this side. And that single back up into the four millimeter and back over here into the single so that completes my two reinforcements and now I have to get into position to add my last single four millimeter on that bottom row and I'm going to do that by passing through back up into the four millimeter again into this single here and you see this by uh, reinforcing this many times it keeps the um, units in this formation that I'm trying to keep and once I get here I'm passing my needle down into these three I'm gonna do this the same way I've been doing adding those decreased rows I'm gonna going into that single C bead right there and I'm going to string on four of my seed beads and a four millimeter. And I'm going to bring my needle, I'm going to pass my needle back up here into this single seed bead where I'm exiting. Pull my thread. Easy peasy, easy peasy. And I'm going to reinforce this by going into the three seed beads. Into the single. Up into the four millimeter. And I'm just going to advance over into this single seed bead. I'm going to add four. I string on four seed beads and I'm going to pass my needle back up into the four millimeter. And I'm going to reinforce that by going around just going to flip it this way so that I can pass my needle here. And I'm going to pass my needle here into that single seed bead. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to string on a seed bead. Pass my needle into the next seed bead there. And I'm going to, while we are here, I'm going to add my wire guardian. I'm going to do that by stringing on three seed beads. And my wire guardian. I'm going to pass my needle into the this one side of the wire guardian 
around the horseshoe groove and hold my finger on t on that horseshoe there so that the thread rests in that groove and I'm going to pass my needle back into that top seed bead the top seed bead only and I'm going to pull my thread and I'm going to let you see what I have here once I am here I'm just going to pinch my wire guardian shut as much as possible and I'm going to add I'm going to string on two seed beads and I'm going to pass my needle back into these three seed beads here and that makes my connection and I'm going to reinforce this but you don't have to watch me do that so I'll pop back on when I'm done with reinforcing. I have completed reinforcing my um, connection here and I need to get into position so that we can um, mimic the other side of the diamond and I am not going to um, make you watch me do this all over again but what I am going to do is show you how to get into position so we're going to our needle is exiting here after we reinforced our um, bale and I'm going to pass my needle down into these three seed beads into this single seed bead here and got my thread caught And then down into these three seed beads. And I'm going to go over here into this single seed bead. Down into these three or up into these three. into this single here and these three here and from here I'm going to enter into this single seed bead here and I'm going to start just the same way I did on the other side and I'm going to string on four seed beads and a four millimeter and pass my needle back into that single seed bead where our thread is currently exiting and this is the same exact thing I did on this other side here on the side three the, we, we have our our center row here and we're gonna make our three row our two row and our single our one row and because I'm here on the end I'm going to reinforce this twice and then I'm going to do the same thing I did if you have to rewind the video to see the same thing that I did um, on this side um, do that but I'm going to continue and make my earring and I will meet you when I get to the end when I when I add my single four millimeter round at the other end and I'll see you back then I've completed adding all of my units and I have reinforced both both sides of my single um, four millimeter and I'm going to string on a seed bead. I'm going to pass my seed bead into the next size 11 seed bead so that this is nicely rounded off like we did at the top when we uh, made our bale up here. And I'm going to now pass my needle up into the next three seed beads and I'm going to 
make it go into this single seed bead here. I'm going to pass my needle up into these three seed beads here and over into the single seed bead right here and I'm going to take this opportunity now to place a single knot right here. I'm going to make pass my needle under this thread bridge here and I'm going to pull up a loop and pass my needle into that loop twice and pull down that knot and I'm going to pass my needle now up into these three seed beads the single seed bead here back down into the four millimeter and I'm going to grab my fire line scissors and pull my thread and just nip that right off and to complete my earring I'm going to grab my my pliers and twist my 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 ring here and place my ear wire right onto the earring and pass that right back down I mean, I'm sorry and twist back down into place and there you have it my earring is complete and it matches this one here it matches this earring and then we have a pair I'd like to thank you for hanging out with me and I hope to see you the next time if you make this project share with me on Facebook. Thanks.